everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am Leanne Russo Liddell, Associate Broker and Realtor at Ocasio Realty. And today I am here with the wonderful Gina Lynn McNamara and the wonderful Lindsay Hope. And they are the co-owners of Revolution Studio. And thank you ladies so much for joining me. I'm really excited to get to know more about your business and, and what you're offering the, the community and the neighborhood. Um, so tell me a little bit about your business and how you got started. Go for it, G. Yeah. Um, well, we actually have a product-based business. And right at the beginning of the pandemic, we really were kind of looking for a space to not only house our products, but a place to really just kind of create. So we stumbled across our studio and we were like, oh my gosh, what, you know, should we do this? We were really like a little nervous to kind of jump in, especially with like the climate of what was happening. Oh, I'm sure. Um, with everything. And so we just kind of pulled the trigger and we were really excited and nervous, but um, we ended up just being like, you know, why, what if we just kind of offered this to our community and kind of open the doors and allow other people to also be able to create there because a lot of places are definitely shut down. A lot of freelancers work in coffee shops and, you know, whether that be, um, you know, all studios are probably shut down at that point. So it was a great kind of opportunity to not only have a place for us to kind of escape because Lindsay does have many children and I, to be honest, I'm, I've always been a worker. Like I don't really like to stay at home and I thought I did. I, <laughs> thought I was going Last to 10 get, months have proven you wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, that. yeah. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> my entire career is like, I just want to work remotely. But now I'm like, oh my gosh, I really <laughs> enjoy getting up and going to the studio. So sure. Um, yeah. So we really just kind of, um, you know, have a wonderful and beautiful space to be able to work and create on our stuff and open up the doors to others who need a place as well. So yeah, that's kind of how we got started. And it's been like the first few months opening, it was so busy and like, we just, yeah, it's great. Awesome. We have a, we had a lot of friends. Um, like we're both kind of, we have background in the fitness industry Mm -hmm. And we had a ton of friends that were um, needing to create online content because all the gyms shut down. So that kind yeah. of started and then it just kind of organically blossomed into, you know, artists and local photographers. And um, we just met so many cool people, um, so many people kind of scrambling to figure out how they're going to, you know, move their business from some of them had brick and mortar or whatnot, and everyone was going online. So they needed a place to create their content and sure. a game plan what they were going to do. So we are, we've been really fortunate to be able to kind of house all of that. And, you know, like Gina said, open up our doors to other creatives and help them through this weird time. Awesome. I love that you're able to, you know, really fill a need, especially for right now with Mm -hmm. people needing the space to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, well, I know that you um, ladies had mentioned that you also have a community platform called Women of the Modern Revolution. Um, tell me a little bit about that. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> Women of the Modern Revolution. Okay. So we really were at our like wits end because we we both were trying to look for a community of women that we could kind of connect with. And it was so hard to find in Phoenix that we were like, why don't we just make our own network? Awesome. And, and so, um, you know, there's, there's things where you can pay memberships and all of that, but none of it really aligned with us. It was these days they have smaller businesses and sometimes, you know, they want to feel a part of something that's a little bit more unpretentious and, that's what we want to offer is a place that where everybody's kind of welcome, whether or not you're a startup of like a multi-million dollar brand to like your Etsy shop. Like we're all kind of in this together and to, we, we want to offer women a place where they can, you know, have tools to create the things that they need, they need to create for their personal and business goals, whether that be, templates for social media or business plans, branding plans, a place, you know, booking our studio to shoot the content that they need for social to website or whatever. 
and also hopefully in the future when like the pandemic kind of <laughs> disappears hopefully we want to be able to open up our studio again to have physical um you know in-person events where people can really connect and sure we, um, our goal is to really bring the community together because there's nothing i feel like in or you know this is just my opinion being in phoenix for so long and living in the downtown scene and the art scene and all of that there's really not like a um a a place for people for women to really connect in that way um so definitely offering um that you know type of scene as well as just kind of um you know we have we're gonna have like a retreat at the end of the year so a place where women can kind of come together and learn from one another um just to you know expand their businesses sure. um, yeah so that's kind of our community base it's really just kind of this um you know passion project where we also want to just really connect with others to elevate one another's businesses um, that's awesome do you want to add to that, Lindsay? No, yeah, you said everything. Um, the, the retreat is really something that we're hoping we'll be able to pull off. I mean, I'm assuming by then we'll be good to travel. Um, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're all going to need it by then. But yes. um, so a, a huge thing for us is building a community and meeting other people like us and helping each other out. Um, I think that it's really important to just kind of help each other right now. Um, Absolutely. So the retreat we're really excited about, we have a bunch of people already lined up, um, photographers and um, just other types of people, like women in business that can kind of lead through courses and whatnot through the weekend and mm -hmm. just help people with their businesses. And not only that, but um, help with like your personal life too. You know, we're going to okay. kind of have some chill time, you know, during the retreat as well. And kind of like a self-care weekend. Nice. Yeah, more we, of a we, well-rounded, um, more of a well-rounded retreat. Cause we've always, we've been doing retreats with other companies for such a long time. And like, it's always this like very stressful, you have to be at another workshop every single, like every hour. So, and that's a know, lot. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. It's more There's of a well-rounded sort of like lineup where we're touching on not only wellness, but even it be financial wellness, um, you know, business, business ideas and inspiration. And we're going to have a, like a mini photo shoot. So it, like I said, it's this like no pressure sort of, um, you know, this, I guess like a no pressure type of vibe. Like I feel like a lot of women, you know, don't want to do things because they don't feel apart or they don't feel aligned with a lot of other brands and stuff. And sure. so we really want to like make that one of our statements to be like, Hey, like ever you can sit with us. You're welcome. Let's all just have a good time. You know? Yeah. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Um, so obviously the retreat is a goal um, that you guys have for the next year. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that you can make that happen and then yeah. it'll be okay. Um, what are some of your other goals for the next year? So yeah, go for it, Linz. Um, we have a lot of goals actually. It's um, We have a, a all natural beauty care line as well called Mood Botanics. And nice. that's kind of our baby that we're um, kind of it's blossoming right now. Um, we're in the final stages of trying to get it into retail. And so we're cool. excited about that. That's a big goal that we have. Um, like Gina said, we have the studio basically, and we, we got it so that we could have a place for us to work and run our other businesses. So sure. Revolution is a great kind of byproduct of what we originally wanted to do. Um, and we've you know, met a ton of cool people with the studio, but our actual original goal was to um, have our mood botanics line kind of in there and we'd be working on that. So okay, cool. that's definitely one of our big goals for the year. Awesome. Yeah, we, um, you know, of course, Women of the Modern Revolution, we'd love to be able to 
strengthen that more, offer much, many more products and services, get a lot more influential women around the Valley to kind of, um, you know, collaborate with us on that. And like Lindsay said, um, our original baby is Mood Botanics and we really want to, um, you know, take that brand basically to the next level. We've invested we're a self-funded company. And so we've invested a lot of time and money and to, sure. um, to get that going. And so it's, it's looking really good. And Lindsay is doing an amazing job with like her PR efforts and got us in some local magazines and stuff. And so like, we're slowly, but like surely learning. And we've gone through a lot of like stresses and ups and downs. <laughs> Sure, of course. And, um, <laughs> we had a lot of days where we started drinking wine at lunchtime. We'll just say that. <laughs> but Understood. it's a good, it's, I think like there is this article on like your um, business bestie, which, you know, when I'm stressed out, Lindsay <laughs> will be like, stop stressing, the, stop stressing out. Or like when she's like, I can't figure it out. Like, Let's figure this out. So it's like a good, it's good to have somebody committed as an, as and as determined and to not give up so that's just been like a great sort of I don't know um like you're like your rock in business and so you know sure. you, gotta, like, you gotta make it through together you know yeah eyes awesome. on the <laughs> awesome um well more on a on a personal note you know what are some of your favorite things to do in the neighborhood Mm -hmm. Eat. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So many good restaurants. We love the restaurants over there. There's so many good ones. It's hard to even pick like our favorite one. Um, I was going to say, do you have any shout outs you want to give <laughs> to anybody? Revolu is really good. Ocho okay. Cafe is good. Um, yes. There's just so many. There's yes. Get a bevy. We everywhere. go to, um, gosh, I mean, there's the Windsor. Well, we haven't gone there yet, ordered food yet, but I love that there's um a postinos right down the road churns mm -hmm. like my favorite ice cream shop um ice cream is very good <laughs> so so good taco guild there's just so many taco guild yeah it's cool yeah. um yeah we try to order like almost every day <laughs> yeah. we're kind of a pita jungle and lots of coffee basically yeah nice i like it um, well, when you guys aren't working, what are some things that you like to do? Go ahead, G. I am always working. <laughs> Just kidding. I need to not work. Um, I tend to, I'm either always like doing something with, so I'm a fur mom. So I try and take the dogs out, you know, try and get out of town maybe on the weekends a little bit go up north or something um definitely I'm always kind of I, I honestly am always working like I need to stop <laughs> but um always organizing planning and yeah I think some those, workouts getting tattoos yeah that's true going to life like Lifetime built more just open like last year, but do that yeah. a lot. I'm, I'm, I feel like I've become this like spa junkie, you know, like <laughs> I don't even like to spend money on like material things anymore. It's mostly just like, I love getting facials, massages and nails done. And it's funny because like, you see those memes where like self care could be about boundaries and not bubble baths. And I'm like, I am like, I need the bubble baths. I need the <laughs> bubbles. I want to, I want massages. Like I love that type of self-care. Like that's nice. what I really like to do. <laughs> okay. So same. <laughs> okay. Nice. Well, I love it. Um, is there anything else that you want to add? Um, is there anything coming up that you want everybody to know about? Um, I think that, you know, just kind of juggling, um, I have a, a daytime job as well still with also running our business and I also am like a web designer um so I do have a lot of web design clients that I'm always taking care of so um, no wonder why you're always working yeah. <laughs> right yeah. there so I think that it's time for like an eat pray love 
journey for like maybe a couple weeks off. <laughs> sure, sure. I, I was you like, know, I gotta go down to Miraval down in Tucson and yeah, have I like didn't... a no phone week, you know, and totally. Um, definitely wanting to take a break because you know, honestly, you can't really take. Can we take breaks like right now? I feel like there's no ways to like really travel with the pandemic, but yeah, I'm I mean, just rambling. Yeah. In, in state, I guess. State yeah. yeah. Staycation. Yeah. Staycations for the win. Yeah. And I'm learning photography. I mean, I'm, I've been like an art director for such a long time. So I think that just adding new skills to my plate has always been, you know, something that I'm constantly working on and just being, you know, having our studio being able to offer more services in the long run is um, definitely a goal for sure. And and not having to outsource so many of those of those things. Like, you know, we have so many awesome photographers that we work with and local people, but at the end of the day, it's like, okay, one of us has to learn how to be a photography, you know, yeah. person. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we've had, you know, we've had certain things where people can't show up because they've been shooting at a wedding and they can't, you know, they've had to cancel and stuff. And so there's those frustrations where, you know, we have to get a job done and we've been forced to have to learn certain things and, mm -hmm. and that's okay because that's it actually helps us out in the end. And sure. we of course have that wonderful like circle of amazing talent, but it's like, okay, well we got to get this done. So, you know, we got to, pull it off. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, sometimes that's maybe a mediocre photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. We're definitely the type to where we, if we're hiring out of the, out of the company to try, you know, if we need photographers or just anything, social media people, we're like, we're just going to learn how to do it ourselves. Like um, PR, for instance, I, we've been, well, at the beginning, we were kind of reaching out to PR firms and just all types of journalists and whatnot. And they just, they charge an insane amount of money. And so I yes. was like, I'm, I'm going to go to school for PR. So I enrolled at UCLA and I'm doing that right now. So I'm like, we're just going nice. to, we're Good just for gonna, you. I'm doing that. Gina's going to learn photography. So we're just going to keep adding to the, you know, stuff that we do ourselves. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I love that you both uh, have not stopped learning and you're just figuring things out as you go and yeah. trying to, to better yourself. So that's really awesome. Um, well, thank you both so much for talking with me. Um, once again, I'm Leanne Russo Liddell, Associate Broker and Realtor with Ocasio Realty. And I was here with Gina Lynn McNamara and Lindsay Hope, who are the co-owners of Revolution Studio. I'll have all of their contact information um, below this interview so you can check them out um, and reach out to them if you have any questions. So thank you ladies so much um, for talking with me.